What is up everybody, Clickwood here, back again with another episode of Madden 15 Mythbusters. Now, for those of you that have not seen the previous Mythbusters series, I will leave them in the description below. But what I want to talk about today is something that I've been seeing kind of trending today on Twitter, on Reddit, uh, even on like Mutthead, for example. And that has to do with the positional hero items that were recently added to Madden 15. Now, specifically, the ones that I want to talk about today, or the one that I really want to talk about today, is actually, uh, it's the player that was just added to the game today, James Ahedigbo, the strong safety for the Detroit Lions. Now, the thing that I want to point out here is the attributes of this card. A lot of people are talking about that they don't think that this card is good enough to be a positional hero card. Now let's take a quick look at the actual attributes that they have here on the back of the card. They have speed listed, obviously, acceleration, uh, play recognition, tackling, man coverage, zone coverage, pursuit, hit power, and those are kind of the main attributes that most people are going to look for when they're talking about a strong safety. However, there are other attributes that of course come into play and you do kind of have to keep those in mind when you're analyzing is this player good enough to start for my team versus another team now don't get me wrong a 99 overall item very very good of course but a lot of people are talking about that they don't actually believe that this card is 99 overall based off of the attributes that are on the back of the card so what i want to do today is either confirm or bust that myth that these cards are not 99 overall and it's not just the james the bow people have said that about other items as well uh including the other one that was released today which is of course jason kelsey of the philadelphia eagles now Jason Kelsey isn't getting quite as much hate, but his price is a little bit lower, of course, as you can imagine. He plays center, probably one of the positions that you would, you know, play, you would, I guess, say it's the cheapest, one of the cheapest positions that most people have on their team in terms of coins spent. Um, now, Jason Kelsey is definitely a great center, but people have compared it to some other centers, uh, including Pouncey, for example, and the, I think it's a 95 overall Pouncey, and the attributes on that 95 overall Pouncey are not that much lower, if at all lower, than the Jason Kelsey. And again, it's a 95 versus Jason Kelsey being a 99. So again, what we want to do today on Mythbusters is figure out, are these items actually 99 overall, or did EA just go in and actually boost the, the front of the card to say 99 overall, even though the attributes don't actually indicate it. So that's what we're going to be busting today. Are the items 99 overall or not? Let's get into it. So guys, the best way for us to do this is to actually go in to the player management tool without Ultimate Team. We're just going to go in and manage the standard rosters within Madden. Now, what we're going to do is open up James the Hedigbo, and, it, and really it could be any item, but we're just going to use James the Hedigbo so that you can see what the card actually becomes and it makes sense. As you can see, as we're boosting up some of these attributes, his overall is going up. Now that makes sense. Now is he going to go all the way from being an 85 overall to a 99 overall based off of the attributes that his card has? Let's see. We're going to change everything. Pretty much, like I said, everything's pretty much getting a little bit of a boost here. Now not absolutely everything is boosted, but just about everything gets a slight boost. Some things get a pretty significant boost. Now I'll tell you, before I started making this video, I honestly wasn't certain at all if this was a 99 overall item. I was kind of skeptical based off of the attributes. So let's take a look here at the very end and of course toughness, consistency, and confidence don't matter for ultimate team. They're actually not, as far as I understand it, included even in the attributes. So with that being said, let's skip up back to the top and see if he is 99 overall. Yes, he is a 99 overall item based off of the way that Madden determines the overall rating for a player. So that's it for James Ahedigbo. Now let's go in and see if the other players have similar types of results with the way that their attributes are determined. Now again, keep in mind that I'm just changing the attributes on the current Madden game. And it does translate from the current Madden game to Ultimate Team. Everything should be the same as far as that goes. But again, we see Josh Sitton is 99 overall based off of his attributes. 
We'll continue on now and take a look at Bruce Miller, the fullback for the San Francisco 49ers, who is the positional hero at the fullback position. And again, he's getting a little bit of upgrade at most of these positions here, uh, kind of tweaking things here and there. And again, he is 99 overall. This was another player that I had kind of a question about, and that's Demario Davis, linebacker for the, uh, the New York Jets. And again, he is 99 overall. I mean, these things are not changing, guys. Now, as you guys look at the offensive line attributes, you are going to see that I actually do change the run block strength, pass block strength, run block footwork, pass block footwork. But as we know from a previous Madden Ultimate Team Mythbusters video, those attributes actually do not matter this year. I just did them in this video so that there wouldn't be any questions about it in the comment section below. But again, it really doesn't make any sort of a difference at all. So the final one here, and this one I thought was the most obvious, I, I pretty much assumed that this one would be 99 overall. It is Harrison Smith of the Minnesota Vikings, but just for making sure that we do our due diligence, yes, he is as well, 99 overall. So guys, there you have it, myth busted. These are 99 overall items based on the way that Madden actually determines the overall value for the card. So that means that these are 99 overall, However, it doesn't necessarily mean that these are the best players at their position. And the reason that I say that is because there are things that we do have to keep in mind. Let's take a look here and compare this James Ahedig bow with my current Taylor Mays item. Now, uh, if you take a look at the actual, uh, at the James Ahedig bow versus the Taylor Mays, this is my current strong safety, 90, uh, 95 overall. Taylor Mays. Now, Taylor Mays has him in speed and acceleration, two of the most important attributes in any Madden game, including Madden 15, of course, and he also has the same hit power. However, Taylor Mays also adds plus two hit power to your entire defense anytime that he's on the field. So that is something that is not really reflected on these cards in terms of their overall. Not only does Taylor Mays hit harder because he's going to get the plus two boost, but he's also going to plus two to everyone else on your defense's hit power. So he makes everybody else play better as well. Something to think about. The other major thing that I think we have to look at here is the fact that Taylor Mays is six foot four. James Hedigbo is only six foot one. These are very significant differences. Height is extremely important this year in Madden 15. There's a lot of face catching going on, a lot of deep passes, and Taylor Mays with that three inch height advantage is definitely going to do a better job against those taller receivers than James Ahedigbo will. So it all comes down to what you're really looking for in terms of your cards. But at the end of the day, these are 99 overall items. So thank you again for tuning in to Mythbusters this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys have anything else that you guys want me to do as far as Mythbusters go, I would be glad to answer those questions in the comments section. Or, of course, if you have a good idea that I could potentially make into a video, I would be glad to do that as well. Just keep in mind, these things for Mythbusters have to be something that we can prove one way or another. So things like, you know, does route running matter? I mean, it's hard to really determine that based off the fact that we would have to be able to determine what is a good route versus a bad route. And that just comes down to opinion, to be honest with you. So uh, it's very, very difficult to answer those type of questions. But there are a lot of things that we can actually do to determine if something is a myth or not. So thank you guys again. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.